Hi YouTubers, uh, welcome to my review of the Palstar AT2K HF antenna tuner. We're going to run through a few of the functions and sort of have a sort of an overall look around this uh, quite large antenna tuner. The induction function goes up to 244, I think, or something like that. I don't know, 248 before it goes to stop. Obviously down to zero, but it's a really nice action. As is, as are these. Really, really uh, nice. The buttons are all um, solid. No wobbly buttons. That's the power light. I like even like the the colour of the uh, the light there. It, I didn't need to adjust anything here. These were bang on calibrated. The same as the uh, as the radio and, and other meters that I've got. Um, you can have two different coax feeds, one and two, or you, in the manual it says you don't have to plug this into a dummy load like I have. You can run that as the third one. And on the balance line, you can have um, depending on how you wire the back, you can have it so you could put the long wire straight to one of the posts and use an internal ballon. Or you can um, just run like a doublet straight to it. So that's why the main reason I bought this actually because I wanted to use it to, to, to run a doublet, to tune a doublet. So I don't want really much more to say about this tuner. You know, it's other than it's pretty big. It's um, I think it's 15 inches wide. It totally uh, it's bigger than my uh, IC 7400 as you can see there. Um, the price isn't brilliant in the UK, I'm afraid, but I decided to import mine from the States for a decent saving direct from Palstar. So I would um, perhaps get in touch with T Palstar di di directly and get a uh, def def definitely get a discount for what you can buy in this uh, country. I think that adds it. Anything else? Any questions or anything about you want me to demonstrate anything on this tuner? I think I covered the uh, the peak and the peak on the last one we just put on dummy load and show you right so we're now we're now collected we're now selected dummy load these buttons here obviously you get the red one on the end there that's the power button this is the range button of, so at the moment it's it's on uh, 300 watts so right to the end of this is 300 watts if i click the button the end of it is 3000 watts so you can see there, it's, but because when it's like that, it's hard to read the scale. So obviously, it's a nice function. I think most tuners have got it. This is these two buttons. As as they're both off, it's it's fast. This one holds it. So as you're speaking, it kind of bounces up and down slowly. So it, it sort of keeps an average. And this one is the peak hold, which is uh, I keep it on mostly. So far since I've had it. I think that's it. I showed you the, the inductor button. Uh, I showed you the uh, the actual roller. I've showed you how nice and smooth these are. And it's um, what else to add? It's not as heavy as I thought it was going to be, but it's um, it does uh, like when I, I you know it's like you get new equipment. I just had to I just had to have a look because I heard about the uh, the quality inside and it is uh, it's true. The soldering um, the components inside this tuner. Are, uh, have spoiled me. I don't think I can now go back to anything else, to be honest. I prefer this manual to an auto tuner. I can get it so precision and uh, so precise and one to one, exactly where I want it everywhere, from 160 all the way up to 6 metres. So it's perfect for me. Perhaps a bit of an overkill, since I'm only using 50 watts at the moment, and after I pass my M0, I think I'll only be running 100 watts for some considerable time until I uh, think about and maybe invest in an amp if I need one but it's uh, one of those things I think you buy and that's the only thing that you, you never, I'll never have to buy another tuner I think that is the uh, point I'm getting to very very pleased with it um, 5 out of 5 for me definitely thanks for watching uh, this review of this Palstar AT2K uh, remember any questions or you want me to demonstrate anything or I will um, either try and put a picture of the back of it in the video or I'll, I'll sort something else like that out so you can see but they are available on the palstar.com website you can see um, see close up and high res pictures of this tuner 
I just thought I'd show you actually in use. Thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to subscribe and rate 20RKY.